Welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Survival Bob, my Let's Play, episode number 16. And we are picking up right where we left off back here with this guy. We got uh, the Gek over here, uh, who's our base overseer. And then we got the little Corvax over here who's taking a nap. He's, he's sad about something. We're going to try to help him out uh, today. But uh, guys, I appreciate you coming back. We're going to get and continue the quest today. We're going to continue the quest line uh, to expand our base, and hopefully we can get into some more of the Atlas stuff as well. Not Atlas. Um, Artemis Path. Uh, we're going to head down that path a little bit too. But first thing we wanted to do is kind of just check to see where we are at. Uh, it's the milestones. I'm looking for the log. So scientific research. We want to uh, connect the scientist's core with the convergence. That's right. So last time we took his core out because he wasn't able to talk to his people, and uh, we got to take it back to a transmission tower. Um, I think the overseer wants something from us as well, so we'll check with him, and then we'll kind of check. We'll jump into space and uh, connect with uh, Apollo uh, to see what's going on with Artemis and see if we can help find him as well. So hopefully we can uh, progress some today. And uh, have some fun while we're nice. Thanks so much for coming along on this journey with me. And uh, let's see what here uh, old Voodoo Dan wants from us. So things are going well, friend. But it will not be long before violence follows us here. It's inevitable. See, we got already superheated rainstorm. Violence coming, huh? All right, so if I had some microprocessors, I could steal a march on fate. Yes. I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armorer. That sounds good to me microprocessors in order to get the weapons terminal all right yeah okay we'll do that uh, voodoo Dan has been helpful so far and I have no reason to distrust them I shall find the microprocessors they need see that just worries me whenever you have no reason to distrust somebody you cool Dan you better be so how many do you need construct a microprocessor Chromatic metal and carbon nanotubes. Oh, can I make that? Oh, you creation requires use of a refiner. My scientist will teach me how to make it. Well, he's not working right now. I think I've got some microprocessors in here, but I kind of want to do the way I'm supposed to do it. Let's see, do I have some? Yep, I got some. Let's check with, uh, let's do the scientist thing first and learn the recipe at least. I don't want to skip that. So we're going to jump back down to this one. Connect to the conver convergence. Visit a transmission tower. All right, so I think it is over here. Yeah. Five hours and 15 minutes by foot. I don't think we're going to walk. Let's grab the ship. Oh, crap, it's raining, isn't it? Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Hot! <laughs> Crap, where's my ship? Anybody know where I parked? Guys? It's been a few days. Uh, sorry guys, it has been a few days since I've recorded. Uh, I had some family stuff I was doing, went on vacation, took the took the kids camping, uh, actually got to spend the night in a cave. It was really cool. Um, and uh, just now getting back, getting into app, uh, getting into the game, and I cannot remember where I parked. Here, let's see. Can I do this without going outside? All right. Do I have to do that? What? Why, why not? Oh wait, I saw green. There it is, right there. Where were you? Come on, man. Let's go. It's dark. It's raining. And you're doing who knows what. <sighs> okay, so we got we got a couple different things going on at once. A couple different paths we're trying to go down. I'm trying to help the scientist guy, but we got a starship communication coming in. I bring Brad News Traveler Entity. Our fleet has been involved in a serious incident sustaining heavy damage. Please inspect the damage report. I require your advice. I'm going to pretty much think you need to come home then, huh? Uh, let's see. Report. Uh, ship has sustained mission critical damage. Crew are incapable of performing maintenance. Further damage risk. Catastrophic failure. Okay, well, come on back. 
Yep, let's do it. Okay. So we want to visit. <laughs> I forgot Spaceball 1. Alright, so he's coming back. We'll get up there in a second, check that out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. Right over here. Landing perfectly. The rain has stopped. It's all good. Got our beautiful fireflies back out. I love my green moon. Oh, I got one of those stupid plants right there. Suck it, plant. Yeah. You can die. Have I saved here before? I feel like I have. As close as this is. We'll see. I discovered this today. So I guess not. All right. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you've been with me through the whole series, uh, I appreciate that. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, for those of you who are subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. For those of you who haven't, why not? Come on, guys. Sub to the channel. It helps me out a lot. I appreciate it. Let's see what is going on in here. Anything in here? Any goodies for Bob? Condensed carbon. All right. We got a chair. Excellent. Got some cups. I think it's, I don't know if I've noticed cups laying around before. That's interesting. All right. So let's see what this thing wants. Terminal online. I prepare to insert the Corvax intelligence core into the transmission tower. The judge. The judgment of the convergence awaits. Okay, so we're about to be judged. Lovely. Let's hear the judgment. Terminal online. Connection established. Error. Uh-oh. Diagnostic. Corvax size unit corrupted by traveler iteration. Personality overwritten. Anomaly involvement detected. Doesn't sound good. Solution. Quarantine Corvax science units from convergence. Observe. Analyze. Silence. Uh, hypothesis, Sentinel, Atlas, Universal, Foki, Fashi, Countermeasure in progress. That doesn't sound good. Countermeasure? Risk assessment, Entropic, Galactic destruction, rebirth. Shit. That's not good. Atlas, error, error, error. They see you. Alright, so... That doesn't feel like the best result. Return to the scientist. Is that something about blowing up the universe? I'm not really down with that. Anything else here? I feel like I should be more concerned about the universe blowing up, but I'm still looking for goodies. No? Okay. We'll head back. Alright. We're on our way back. Let's try to land and not crush the pretty frost crystals out front. Oh wow, you can see the fleet from here. I never noticed that. Oh, that, is that my fleet? Oh, that's awesome. You can see my fleet from here. It looks like they're all back. I need to go up there and check that out. That's pretty sweet. I never noticed that. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Alright, science guy. Where are you at? Apparently your people have disowned you. And are thinking about blowing up the universe. Which does not sound good. Wake up. <clears throat> Alright. Entity Pugnasks. What am I calling you? Pugnask? 
Shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection, trapped inside the data core. I have no way of knowing how the Corvax has taken the encounter at the transmitter. I don't think he's going to take it well. Shell reconnection in progress. The scientist is rebooting. It takes an hour and a half. Are you kidding me? Ugh. What do you want? Microprocessors? Yeah, that's right. All right, I gotta wait on this dude. Let's ask about the Viking. You know all about the Viking, Traveler. Do you not remember? Hmm, no? Tell me. Have you spent time among the Viking? You can learn from their pointless struggle, the inane war against the Sentinels. It is the fate of all to destroy their worlds, Traveler. Even you. That's, just, that's not cool. The last pronouncement troubles me. I have no lust to destroy worlds. Any weapons I have built have been for my own protection. Haven't they? Let's ask about my fate this time. The overseer will have sent my question, and then there's something. Some notion I am unable to quite wrap my head around on the verge of my comprehension, and yet unreachable. Alright. Hey, are you awake? What's up? Oh. All right, I'll let you get on with your business then. So... All right, I'm waiting on that. I need my microprocessors, but I gotta learn that from him. So let's go to this one then. Ghost in the machine, return to space to contact Apollo. And depending on where that takes us, maybe we'll run, check our fleet out, and check out our mission progress as well. I don't know, we'll see. here on Bob's Green Moon. Let's go. That's so cool, the fleet is right there. Incoming message, frequency Apollo. <clears throat> What's up Apollo? How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. Oh, that's right, you're the one who helped me with that. What are units for if not to assist dominance over your fellow life forms? But on to more important things, all right? If you're gonna work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there, not yet at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really, the same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants in the space station to get technology upgrades. Yeah, I know all that stuff, dude. I figured that out. You are not helpful. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift. My little investment in our partnership. Okay, now that does sound useful. Personal force field. On activation, this module draws power from the exosuit life support systems to overload the multi-tool, distorting the electromagnetic field around the user and creating a powerful personal shield. While this field offers substantial protection against incoming laser fire, the user is advised that the multi-tool cannot be used for other functions while powering the shield. Okay, so shoot or shield, one of the two, huh? That looks like I need an ion battery. Alright, so I need to collect nanites to buy technology upgrades. Dude, I have done that plenty. Nanite rich location. Let's see what this is. I wonder if it's those um, egg things. Da da da. Wait a minute. What's going on? Jeez. God, guys. I'm flying here. Not well. There we go. Pulse engine sign of hell. Alright guys, let's get with it here. Collecting nanites. Yeah, 
I can't see at all. That's good. Yeah. Yep, it's the eggs. That was a weird landing, wasn't it? Alright, let's see what it tells me. I'm here. Alright, what do we got? Forgotten terminal. Goop, my favorite. Thank you for the goop. What you got for me, terminal? Returning user identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log. Continuation for analysis. The oceans here are blood. Nothing lives in them. They are alive themselves. Great protein life forms as large continents. Or perhaps there is only one of them. What does such a thing consume, I ask myself. The answer seems to be everything. I found evidence of past life here, but no signs of it. Does the native flora and fauna hibernate when it comes to eat them? then return to repopulate once it retreats. I can feel moving inside my brain, whispering it wants me to discard my suit and swim. Uh, I don't, I don't really want to do that. That's creepy. <clears throat> I discover something coded deep inside the log, the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me in my own journey. All right, I got some nanites. Locate multi-tool technology merchant. Visit the technology merchant. All right, what's going on here? All right, now I need a multi-tool technology trader in a Viking system. That's interesting. Am I in a Viking system? Let's see, where am I? I am... Oh, Corvax. There it is. I knew it was around here somewhere. Corvax system, not Viking. So I need a Viking system. Hmm. Alright. Let me, uh... Ow. Let me run around here and grab these eggs real quick, because I could use the nanites. Can I get to this? Are you... Okay, there's nothing there. Oh, this is what I was looking for. No, nothing there either? Dang it. No goodies for Bob. <clears throat> How am I doing on nanites anyway? I'm doing alright. Got plenty. Plenty of nanites. Alright, what do we got here? Fault caster, mining beam, terrain manipulator. Alright, I'm gonna run around here, catch these guys, and then I will see you back in the sky or space or something. See you in a sec. Alright guys, I am back. I don't know if I've shown this on uh, video before, but I just want to show you guys five larval cores. Throw it in your uh, refiner and bam like that 250 nanites so it's super quick you can sell them as well um, early game i think the first time i did get them i did sell them uh, just because i needed the money and nanites weren't super important early game for me but uh, money was just to get a good start so but now nanites are kind of the thing i got plenty of money just need the nanites so let's see i think i got 15 or 18 of these so that'll give me, is that it? Do I have one more group? Yeah, I got three more. So you get 50 per core, which is sweet. It'll give me another 150. So I got, you know what, 900 there. Gives me a total of 3303. I'll take it. So now I, see those guys are all pissed. Look at them. Look how mad they are. 
Oh well. You can't do nothing. Alright, so where am I heading now? Locate a multi-tool merchant in a Viking system. So let's head to space. Let's check out the galaxy map, see what we got for Viking systems around here. Didn't say a specific one. Is that that's a Viking? Let's expand it. Let's see what we got. Destitute. I don't really want to go to a destitute system. No, deselect. We got Gak. Gak. More Gak. Corvax. Come on, where are you at? Alright, now I can't find it even if I wanted it. Corvax. All right, anybody will do now. I'm getting annoyed. Viking, low supply. That's crap too, but let's just go. Whatever, I'm looking for a multi-tool guy. All right, we are here. Three planets, one moon, low supply. Alright, let's get in here and find this technology dude and see what they want me to buy. And of course, we got to do our normal routine of expanding our exosuit and crashing the cobalt market just for funsies. Thank you. I think the technology guys are over here, aren't they? What you got? Eh, that looks stupid. Hey, bud. I think I'm supposed to talk to you. The bulky alien glares as I approach, trying to turn their grimace to a smile, but failing even at this. They seem unhappy with their current position. Gra. Interloper. Your. Me. Okay. The life form appears to be selling insatiable multi-tool upgrades in exchange for nanite clusters. Installable, not insatiable. Come on, Bob. Read. Words. What you got? What am I supposed to be buying from you anyway? I don't see anything I really want. Um, I'm just really looking at the S-Class stuff and I don't see anything great. Do I have anything I can sell you? Paul, no, I'm not selling you that. Alright, mission target is in another system. What? What? Visit a multi-tool technology trader in a Viking... I, th that's what I am. That's what I'm doing. Was I supposed to go to a specific one and I wasn't paying attention? Bob not paying attention? That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound like me. Whoa. So I am on Xbox, guys, and I have been noticing since the last update, it, the game has really been jumpier, honestly. I don't know what the deal is, but not a fan. Hey, you guys, uh, all right, Cobalt, we'll do it. How am I doing on money? Do I have Cobalt? Oh, it's in my starship. Hello. Yeah, here, have all of it. Then I will buy it back, because I'm that kind of nice guy. Take that. And that. Is there anything else you guys have I need? Didn't I need two ion batteries for something? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I can craft those. I don't know why I'm buying them. Um, yeah. That'll be fine. Alright, where am I supposed to be going? Excuse me, buddy. 
Mission targets in another system. Use teleporter. Alright. Where do you want me to go? Okay, right there. Let's do that. But I wasn't in a Viking system, was I? I'm so confused. Yeah, this is a Corvax system. This is where I was, right? right let me... Yep, negative 81%. I have been here. Okay, but it's telling me to go over there. Hey, Corvax. What's up? Am I just supposed to buy something from you? Yeah, yeah, I don't understand you. Here, have some nanites. Bolt caster module. Okay. Alright, I must have jumped ahead of this. This must be teaching us about the multi-tool and stuff, and I've already passed it. You know, a lot of the quest is kind of the tutorial as well. So, okay. Install... I don't really want to. Alright. Return to space station to contact Apollo. Waiting on that guy. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, I'm gonna fly back down to my station real quick, because... It is not good if I teleport. My ship ends up in my base. Guys, I don't know. Can you move your base computer? Do you guys know? Let me know in the comments down below if you can. I haven't figured it out. Just getting a little more cobalt. Uh... Oh, you got a bunch. Thanks. Anything else? Nope. Alright. See ya. Alright. See you guys back at the base. Alright. I was heading back to the base and then I got a frequency. So let's see what this is. You are not alone. Obviously. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. There is no need to hurry. Um, who are you? Dot dot dot. <laughs> Alright. Now you're not talking. You will find us when the time is right. Alright. Is that it? Alright, back to my base. Oh, wait. God. Guys, I'm to do something. What's up, Apollo? Are you ready? Make sure you are. The job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to your base of yours for a while. What? What am I doing? I thought I was going back to my base. Um, okay. Let's confirm. Good. Let the hunt begin. What? I've detected a Corvax installation on the world of on that world of yours. The interference in your transmission is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. The synthetic, the synthetics delight in espionage. Um, I'll cough. <clears throat> I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were, but this is no world of for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to the shell. This is who I am. Um, yeah, I don't feel sorry for you. How'd that happen? I'm curious. I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. Word. So, start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack Corvax Factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, 
will have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Alright, where am I going? Corvax facility coordinates received. Alright, where's that at? Not seeing anything. Alright, whatever. I'm going back to my base. Alright. <clears throat> you know what? I'm not waiting an hour and a half. I got microprocessors. Let's get this. Let's get something done. Hey, what's up, Overseer? I trust our new Corvax friend was helpful. They are merely a start of a merry band. Are you ready to take the next step? Yeah. The Overseer asked for the processors so that they can finish the plans for the weapon terminal. Here you go. You have done so well, friend. I am so very happy. Well, good. I'm happy, too. Pagnium. I think I got some of that. Can I move? I can't move. Oh, you're still talking. Sorry. Now, imagine this, friend. A little life form displeases you. You punish it, reward it, reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. All right, that's kind of weird. So... It is with the Sentinels and their attacks, but no more. Now we shall train the trainers. Oh, the Sentinels are training us. I see what you're saying. The Overseer requires me to kill Sentinels and bring back their Pagnium. Pugnium. Um, okay. The Sentinels have harried me the length of my journey. We shall be free of their constant harassment. Now what do you need? What are we doing? All right, acquire Pagnium. Pugnium. I'm still waiting on you, right? What do you need? Attract Sentinel attention by infiltrating a Corvax facility. Destroy locked doors using a bolt caster. Install the bolt caster. Upgrade to the multi-tool. Activate with Y. Word. Got it. All right, so we might be able to do a couple of these things at once. Let me throw these microprocessors back in here. Bam. Did I have Pugnium in there? Yes, I do. I got a butt ton of it. All right, let's 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 go. Let's do this stuff though. I don't want to be too cheaty, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it cheaty to just kind of jump ahead like that, or should I? I mean, I'm advancing the storyline, so we still got that. All right, let me throw my goop in here. Get working, goop. Always got to be processing something. Let's see. What's my multi-tool look like? Not looking bad, right? Damage potential 1,227. Uh, I don't have a bolt caster upgrade, though. Maybe that's what I should have bought. C-class. This is crap. that do anything? I was at 1227 before, wasn't I? It's not changing. Moderate upgrade, plus 1% damage. That does not seem very helpful. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at the logs one more time and see what's going on here. And check out all the salvage data I got, guys. I need to go buy I want to go get some stuff, but... I'm kind of waiting to see what everybody gives me before I go wasting my technology stuff on them. Nope, that's not what I want. I want log. All right, I got to get the Pugnium. I'm waiting on you. Go attack a facility. See where we are with this guy. All right, I'll leave you to your business. Do your business, but hurry up about it. You 
You know what? I gotta attack the facility anyway. So, I'm just gonna get the Pugnam out of here. I know I asked you if it was cheaty. If it was, tell me. Because I just want to advance. I want to do something. I want to move the story along. This part isn't super exciting. Yes, friend? Can I help you? Yeah, I got this stuff. Is it murder to destroy these drones and to loot their components? I am... I am master of these worlds, not them. They deserve pain. They deserve to feel that is as I, as I. I look at the Gek and smell a strange smell. I wonder, not for the first time, if it's somehow affecting my thoughts. If it is somehow affecting my thoughts. I dismiss the notion the Gek is my friend, after all. Um, yeah, I don't want... It's, it's getting weirder. I'm not sure if this guy's on my side or not. What is the Overseer's purpose? Is it truly the shape of the Sentinels, or do they have some someone else in mind? Dude, I got Pugnium. What's going on? Isn't that it? Oh, let me get... Alright, check. Got it. Gotta have the mission selected in order for it to count. Yes, friend? Can I help you? Yeah, I got your stuff. We just did this. Remember? Alright, I'll seek some reassurance. It is not aggression, friend. It is retribution for their unprovoked attacks. Okay, great. Return to the Overseer. I'm back. Again. Do you have it? Of course I do. The Overseer, in something of a state of excitement, asked me for the Pugnium. There you go. Hiring... Hireling Voodoo Dan presents me with a reward, as I knew they would. I like rewards. Give me the reward. Friend, there's another matter. I gave you the means to create a weapons terminal, did I not? Yet I see no Viking in attendance. Don't, dude, relax. I got a lot going on. Does my help mean so little to you that you would tarry so? You must recruit an armorer before we can proceed. The overseer requires me to build a weapons terminal and recruit a Viking armorer for my base. Alright, let's do it. Splendid, I do enjoy our Viking friends. We shall all live in harmony, I think. Oh, sweet. I got a life support module. All right. So I think I can do... Whoops. Go up. Specialist. No. Isn't that it? All right. Where's the stuff? What am I looking for? Oh, that kind of specialist. Terminals. There we go. Construction. Weapons. Alright. Oops. I want you inside. It gets hot out there. It's hot and rainy. And we want our Viking friends. Happy, happy. Right there. Crap. Wrong button. There we go. Alright, there's the terminal. Now we gotta go find a Viking. A planetary chart contains a point of entrance. Put this stuff back. Life support module. So am I supposed to do this now? Or did I just get that for fun? Let's see. Abandoned building detected. Let's see how far away this thing is. That's pretty far. Doesn't tell me how many units. Hmm. Alright, let's go check that out. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing that or if that just kind of gave me that. That's happened before, and I haven't done it, where I got a planetary chart and it was talking about it, and I was just kind of ignoring it. Whoa. But, uh, also, I wandered all over the place last time looking for that bike, or for the, uh, Corvax guy, and I could not find him. Is this another one of those? Wow. There are a lot of these right near me, aren't there? Okay. 
I gather this stuff up. See if I can figure out where to go to get the Vikings uh, weapons guy. And I will be right back. Alright, I am looking for an armor. Uh, not you. Not you. You. Hey, buddy! You're not gonna stand up, huh? I, I demand a place on your throne world, interloper. Acceptance will grant you the glory of an exocraft and a Viking mech priest to administer its mass. Alright, let's do it. Pray only that you have an exocraft terminal sufficient for my skills. Exocraft? I've got a weapons terminal, dude. Refusal will result in my inevitable extermination. Be quick. I don't... The technician seeks work claiming to be able to build an upgrade exocraft. I... Uh... I want weapons. Sorry. You are dangerous and unstable. Alright. Have fun with that. Uh, cobalt for Bob. Thank you. Anything else I need? Nope. You got any other talents? No? Alright guys, I guess I'm going to run around and look for this Viking guy. Let's see. Staff are available to hire in space stations. Not this one. Not the kind of staff I'm looking for anyway. Hmm. Let's just run around real quick and see if there's any other Viking just wandering around. Oh, there are. Hey, dude. Hey, 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 come here. Warrior. You know how to make weapons? Interloper, blah, blah, blah. As I approach the warrior, I hear an item drop to the floor. They are very deliberately ignoring the faint beeping that has begun to sound near their feet. Despite my lack of understanding, I sense I should do likewise. Uh, do you drop your pager? Alright, teach me a language. Um, let's go with technology. Even though you're a warrior. Weapon. Yes, that's what I need. I need a weapon, dude. Blah, blah. Uh, drop something. Let me say weapon. Maybe that'll help. Probably not. Weapons. You like that? They show me their multi-tool. Yeah, good. You're happy, huh? Alright, not helpful. Corvax, Corvax, Corvax. Corvax, Corvax. I need a Viking, right? Any Viking over here? Oh, here's one. How about you, buddy? You got a picture of a weapon. Holy Ancestors, the Interloper, Herc. The warrior stares at me as if anticipation of a grave insult to their ancestry. Yeah. I see my reputation precedes me. All of a sudden their face turns. They deliver a sequence of amused yelps at my hesitation before indicating they're open to further... <laughs> Come on, man. I need help with a weapon. Ugh. Alright. I'm going to keep looking. Alright. I finally found him. Guard Quam. <clears throat> Your Gex servant told me you were coming, Interloper. It's an honor to meet one whose bloodlust exceeds even my own. Gra. We shall kill together for the glory of Herc and our ancestors. Alright. The great sentinel hunt begins. Come, let us inhale. They're what the huh? Let's inhale something. Okay. This Viking is old. It is not their skin or appearance that suggests this. Their beings are too alien, too unusual for me to make judgment on that basis. No, it's the way they hold themselves, the way they speak. They do not posture. When they smile at me and tell me it's an honor to, for us to meet, I believe them. Guard Quam possess promises to come to my world and make use of a new weapons terminal. You got it. I've been looking all over for you. Gra, I will rejoice in the blood harvest, but tell me. Do I need to pay for my own transit? Um, yes. 
so yeah you figure that out I'm gonna run around here and do my normal space station thing I had to come to a new uh, a new system I ran around mine and talked to everybody and didn't find anything so I just jumped to a Viking system and that was close by and here we go I don't want to buy I want to sell Uh, yep, yeah, here we go. Make that money. Alright, and then I need my upgrade, and I will meet you back at the base. Ooh, that's a cool ship. Shuttle. Alright guys, I'll see y'all back at the base, and we'll get this Viking settled in. Right, we're back at base. I did a horrible landing job. I don't think I'm going to show you that. Oh, you are behind the counter. These other guys are just standing out here in the open, but you look like you're actually working. What is up with you, bud? These facilities are glorious, but know that we Viking exterminate worlds that show even the merest hint of weapons production. Consider yourself lucky that I am your friend. Gra. Violence must be ended. This is the way of something. This is the way of Herc. We, when murder is gone, the last weapon fired will be at the Viking ourselves, having served our holy purpose. Alright, that's weird. As a gesture of peace, the armor offers me a piece of exosuit technology. They are keen to demonstrate they are more than a simple warrior. Sure, thanks. I like gifts. Wear it with pride. Now, before we can begin our work together, there is something we must deal with. What's up? Viking High Command would not permit me to reside here and ignore my purpose, Interloper. I have discovered a weapons factory nearby, and to sabotage it would demonstrate our worth. While you are there, perhaps you may also learn something useful for yourself. I learned that the Viking believe that no other species should be able to hold weapons. <laughs> that after the atrocities, after the atrocities committed by the Gek, only the Viking should be trusted with arms. Yeah, that sounds legit, right? The armor gives me the location of a nearby weapons factory, claiming it is operating illegally. If I go there and shut down production, I may be able to extract vulnerable blueprint. Okay. Go with honor, but be wary. The eye of the Sentinels will be upon the factory. Alright, so you want me... Toxic protection. That's... Uh, okay, fine. Alright, so you want me to go blow up the uh, factory. You want me to go blow up some Sentinels in a factory. You're still waiting to be useful, right? Yeah. Alright, keep working on that. Alright guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. We got our buddy here, uh, the Viking. He is going to help us with some weapons and armor and stuff like that. Hopefully, he's got all these cool tools back here. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of No Man's Sky. We will continue with our friends here. We got... Uh, the Three Stooges? I don't know. We can come up with a better name than that for you guys. You guys are going to be helpful, right? Helpful? You're just telling me to blow stuff up right now, which I guess is kind of fun. But, yeah, we'll get to some more stuff. Guys, thanks so much for whopping, watching. Whopping. Yeah, thanks for whopping and watching and everything else. Guys, we'll see you next time in No Man's Sky with Survival, survival Bob. And remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it.